Hello everyone, welcome back to Kinetic Tutoring. Today we're taking a look at another AP Physics C Mechanics AP test problem for a, from a prior year. So let's just get straight into it. There's a block that's sent up a ramp. It goes somewhere between the bottom to, to the top. It doesn't reach the top completely, but it gets somewhere around here. And then it goes back down. And using this information, um, we are going to solve these problems. So first it asks us to find a the acceleration A of the block. So let's draw our free body diagram. Here is our block. We have gravity acting on it and we have the normal force acting on it. These are the only two forces that are acting on it. And the or only horizontal component that is acting on it is going to be the horizontal component of gravity. Make sure to not draw components on your actual free body diagram but since this is an unofficial one, that's fine. So we'll have the sine theta component of mg will be our net force. So therefore our acceleration is going to be g sine theta. For the rest of these we can just apply kinematics to find the velocity. We are given a a starting velocity v initial so v is equal to v initial minus g sine theta t because we're using the v finals v initial minus acceleration times time and the reason there's a minus sign here is because the velocity is going this way and the gravity is pulling it the other way and finally let's do x we're starting at x is equal to d and we're going towards um, d is equal to zero so in this case we're gonna start with the x initial of d the velocity is bringing it away from d so towards zero so it's going to be negative and the acceleration is actually going to be bringing it towards d so the acceleration is going to be positive so we have x final is equal to x initial plus v initial time plus one half at squared when we know our a is g sine theta so plus one half g sine theta t squared now let's find the time at which the block reaches equilibrium where it's neither moving up or down and that's how we will find x min as part b is asking for us so we, we know that it reaches equilibrium when the velocity is zero meaning that g sine theta t is equal to v initial and this this happens at time v initial over g sine theta so now let's plug this into our x equation to find x minimum x min is equal to d minus v o t t so we'll get v initial squared over g sine theta plus one half g sine theta times t squared which will give you v initial squared over g sine theta squared or sorry and yeah, so one of these g sine theta cancels out with one of these. So then we'll get minus v initial squared over g sine theta plus one half. So when you add those up, it'll just be minus one half g sine theta. Or ra sorry, rather minus v initial minus one half v initial squared over g sine theta. So x minimum is going to be d minus one half v initial squared over g sine theta. There you have it. This is your answer for x min. So let's move on to the next parts. Now it's asking us to sketch graphs of position x, v, and a. So moving, looking, taking a look here. Sorry if I can just get it. Okay. Our x we can see is decreasing from d to 0 and then it goes back towards d but it never quite reaches 0 because it doesn't reach the motion sensor so it's going to decrease 
not reach zero and then increase again in a parabolic manner. Our velocity is linear and it starts at v0 and then it reaches zero and then it goes in the opposite direction so it's just a straight negative line and our acceleration is just going to be a constant mg sine theta mg sine theta this starts at v initial goes to zero and then goes to negative v initial because when it reaches the bottom of the ramp again it's going the same speed just in the same in the different direction and this is d this is d and this is somewhere this is at x min over here there we go so after the block slides back down and leaves the ramp it slides on a horizontal surface with a coefficient of friction given by mu k derive an expression for the distance the block slides so the way you can use, do this is using work and energy we don't really have to consider what happened as it goes up and down the ramp because we know since there's no friction no air resistance all of the energy is conserved so therefore the V initial is still going to be V initial so we start with kinetic energy and we end with when all of it all of the energy is dissolved into dissolved by friction through due to work so let's draw so let's write out our work equation force times distance and that will be the only energy because it's all been dissipated so let's write it let's write out our force we know that when something is on a horizontal field the force of friction that is acting on it is just n g or sorry rather n times mu and n is going to be mg so it's mu mg d these m's cancel out and we'll get when we divide this side by mu g we'll get v initial squared over 2 mu g is the distance that the block will slide before coming to a complete stop there you have it now let's take a look at the last part suppose the ramp now has friction the same block is projected up and back down on the axis below sketch a graph of the velocity so t, t final is where it has went up and came back down and basically what it wants us to know here is that as as the blocks going up both friction and gravity are going down so the acceleration is going to be friction plus gravity but when it is going down when the block's going down, friction is going up and gravity's going down, so it'll be gravity minus friction. So therefore, the acceleration is going to be greater on the way up, so it's going to be going up for less time than it is going down. So therefore, the slope is steeper and it reaches the maximum before halfway. So that's all you gotta know for that for that part of the problem there you have it hopefully you guys learned from this tutoring and hopefully you know if there's any questions make sure to leave them in the comments below i will try my best to address them that's all i have for you today have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys next time